When moving to a new area and looking for homes, it can seem overwhelming. First and foremost, the style of homes may seem very different than what you're used to. For instance, if you're used to a Cape Cod or a Dutch Colonial, then moving to Florida may feel like a whole nother country. So today I'm going to break down the styles of homes, the types of homes, and what you're going to find here in Sarasota and throughout Florida. So stick around. Hi everyone, I am Lisa McBride with Keller Williams Realty Select in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch, and this is Living in Sarasota. I share all kinds of information about the housing market, um, what type of homes we have, and what there is to do, the good and the bad about Sarasota. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button so you're notified when I post new videos, and let me know how I can be of help. If you, like myself, have discovered that when you move to another state, the homes and the vernacular of what we call our homes is very different. I wanted to share a little insight that might help make the move and house hunting a little easier. First, I wanna start with that we have lots and lots and lots of single story homes. The famous ranch style home is the most popular in Florida. And for a few obvious reasons. One story homes can easily be built to accommodate a little bit of an older population allowing them to move from bedroom to kitchen to back patio without any steps. And truly, you really don't need to be a little older to enjoy a ranch style home. I have always liked the ease of a one story home, you know, not hauling your laundry up and down steps or cleaning supplies. And um, I have lived in both and I still prefer a one level home. But an even bigger reason why we have one level homes is the heat. A one level home is just easier to cool. We know that heat rises and that means that a second story of a home in Florida can definitely be a little hotter than the main level. Now Florida homes are often designed to be built on a concrete slab with concrete block exterior walls. Most Florida home plans display open split floor plans with a master on one side of the home and then the additional bedrooms on the other side. Whether you are raising a family or you have visitors staying with you, that split plan is very nice. Although we definitely do see a large number of ranch shell homes, when Sarasota was originally developed, we will still find some of those charming 1920 bungalows and also some Florida cracker homes. Florida cracker is a vernacular that refers to a, a wood frame house. They built their homes surrounded by wide verandas or porches, often wrapping the entire home and to shade the windows and the walls. Similar styles to this, we also have some Mediterranean and some Spanish style homes, specifically in our older neighborhoods such as West of Trail area and Gillespie Park. Key West style homes are very popular and typically feature raised foundations, shady and spacious porches, numerous windows to allow the air to move freely throughout the house, and an open concept floor plan, as well as metal roofs. Today's modern architecture is quickly filling empty lots and has become very, very popular with residents and builders. A lot of our older neighborhoods, we're seeing some homes being torn down and now they're being filled in with these modern contemporary homes, really changing the look of neighborhoods. And that's the nice thing about a ranch style home is that the front elevation can really vary. So it's not like all the homes look the same from one to the other. It's nice to have the variety. So aside from these styles of homes, we have a variety of types of homes. We have what is known as our villas. In Southwest Florida, attached villas are single story buildings with two units per building. It's similar to a duplex where you have a shared common wall. Many times these will have common walls with separate and attached one or two car garages. The primary advantage of this is that they really feel like a single family home and everything is on one level. Many times our villas are a little bit smaller than a single family home in that they'll range in size from 1,000 square feet to 2,000 square feet. The difference between a villa and a single family home is the size of the lot, the maintenance of the landscaping and the neighborhood, and sometimes the exterior of the home, such as painting and roofing. A lot of our villa communities have amazing amenities, such as pools, gated entrances, social directors, and so much to do. Another type of home we have here is condos. Now, Florida has lots and lots of condos. 
Most common, we think of that multi-story building with underground parking and a concierge service. However, we have many two to three story buildings as well with individual units on each floor. The condos are always maintained by a homeowners association and a management company that works directly with the board of directors. HOA fees vary greatly in condos and it really depends on the amenities and what is maintained and how, how big sometimes because if you have a small complex with less people paying in, it just may simply be higher just due to the size. Another very popular style of home is a townhouse. Now townhouses are multi-floor homes that share one or two walls with an adjacent property, but they have their own entrances. In the suburbs, townhouses are often uniform homes built in distinct communities that may have its own homeowners association. Now keep a few things in mind if you're starting your home search here. First and foremost, we don't have basements. We have lots of single story homes. We have a variety of condos and townhouses and we have villas. So those are the most common and what you're going to hear over and over again. Which one is best for you? Give me a call and let's discuss all the options and figure out what home is going to be ideal for your lifestyle. I do really appreciate you to watching and reaching out. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, take care.